Now Hi, I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba. I learned to make bannock from generation from generation down. And bannock, the, 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 the First Nations make it all the time, and the Métis have taken over making it too. So, I'll teach you how. Take one teaspoon of yeast, okay? I'll put two. <laughs> okay. Now, add a warm water. Okay. I forgot to put that ready. I need water there too. Okay. <laughs> then take this and put it on the side. Now, now you take, we'll make one batch. We'll take five cups of them. Uh, flour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Four, five. Now I don't do much measuring, <laughs> so take some baking powder, add it in, about a teaspoon to two, whatever you figure is good. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Not coming out. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put a teaspoon of sugar in the yeast. Put a little teaspoon so it'll help it. And I need warm water. And then stir this up good. They used to do this in the, uh, make bake bannock in the oven too, or, and they used to do it on the stove. And prior to this, natives used to use, uh, corn to make flour and that's how they made the bannock. That's how they learned the bannock with their corn, ground up corn, but now the new generation. Okay, now take whatever water, <laughs> make a hole in the middle. You see this girls? Make a hole in the middle. Tip it over. Josie knows. Tip it over. And then you slowly, it's almost like making uh, homemade bread, okay? Then you just play with it. Oh, and I need a bowl. Do you see? We need another bowl. I forgot to tell you, two bowls. Yes. Yeah, to oil it. Oh, add the yeast in. <laughs> Almost forgot the most important part. Okay. Bannock is, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not got full of sugar and all that, eh? I need more water. It's, um, please, please, I forgot my manners there. <laughs> please, you see what you're doing here? You're mixing this up till we get all the dough. And I'll always make sure your water is lukewarm. And my hands were washed. <laughs> and you almost got your bag clean. It's simple, doesn't it? It's very simple. Did you see her roughshod measurements? I know. You're never going to get that right. You just grab, you just put in what you think, you know, like... Go by feel? Yeah. Uh, they, have, they have recipes of measurements, and I found that those, those, those didn't work good. Now check this out, Josie. Oh, and make sure you oil a pan on the side. A little bit of oil around. Go like this. Yeah. Did you see our panic when you just started throwing the ingredients in and not measuring? When it's like a tea. That's the best that's the best way to do it. You got the recipe like you got wrote down what it needs? No, because you were going to <laughs> We'll get it after. We'll get it after. You have to make a few mistakes while you're making it. Okay? It's no. very elastic. Now sometimes when it comes out doughy, I and mean, then it comes out like greasy. But that's okay, it'll still rise and everything. Right, Josie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, growing up, we ate only bannock. We didn't have a store-bought. We didn't know what store-bought was. Really? Yeah. And then when we got older, my parents did put bread on the table, because we always ate at the table, right? And she said us kids would only eat bannock. Okay. Well, I know my... my there you go. Now we gotta let it rise. Turn it off for a little bit. 